The following video's purpose is to familiarize you with the washing sequence procedure for front discharge mixers when using the Load & Go Ready Mix Truck Wash. First, ensure your hopper is down. Never raise your hopper from being loaded at the plant until the mixer is clear of the Load & Go. Leaving the hopper up will result in damage and misalignment of the hopper wash nozzles. The Load & Go will give you moving instructions using green, yellow, and red lights. The green light indicates that the wash is ready to use. The yellow light indicates that you should move forward slowly. A solid red light indicates you should stop. A flashing red light indicates you should reverse slowly. Upon arrival at the Load & Go, the green light will be lit, indicating the wash is ready to be used. Having the mixer centered ensures you'll get the best wash possible with the load and go. Center the mixer going through the frame with the help of the guide sticks on each of the legs. Your mirror shouldn't touch on either side, but if they do, adjust the next time you come through. The first washing sequence will begin as soon as the mixer enters the load and go. This will be indicated by a yellow light. Inch forward slowly through this section. It'll be the dirtiest part of the truck and needs adequate time to clean properly. It will become very difficult to see the light when you're going through this stage. Continue to slowly inch straight forward. Once the spray clears, you'll be able to see the light again. If it's flashing red, you've gone too far. That's okay, just back up until it turns to solid red. Once you're in the red zone for three seconds, the hopper wash will start. When you look at this close-up view of the hopper wash, you can see that nozzles are strategically pointed to wash certain areas. This is why it's so important to be centered in the lane and in the red zone when the hopper is being washed. Once the hopper wash is complete, the light will turn yellow. Wait for the system to get up to full pressure and then begin moving slowly forward. Spend most of your time at the beginning in this sequence to wash your chute, catwalk, and windshield. You'll have up to 45 seconds of wash time for this phase. As soon as the cab windows are clear of the spray, you can begin to pull forward more quickly. This final wash phase is a 270 degree sweep that washes from top down and front to back, keying in on the drum and fenders. If you don't use the whole 45 seconds, the wash will automatically shut off once your mixer is clear. You're now ready to go hit the road on the way to your next job.